And what I want to focus on helping you take control, right, of this exam. The concern and our big issue and the thing that drives us crazy is the fact that we feel like when we sit down in that exam, it's out of our control, right? That's what freaks us out. That's one of the big things that freaks us out. When I sit in that exam and they put that paper on my desk, I am no longer in control. I feel like I'm at the mercy of the examiners. Whatever they're going to ask me, I don't know what it is. I don't know what the levels are. I don't know if I'm going to know the stuff. I don't know if I'm going to be okay. I don't know how I'm going to feel. I don't know if I'm going to look at the first question and feel like, okay, I can do this. You look at question one in the exam and you go, oh crap, I'm screwed. And the way that question one goes and that sense of, I can't do this, (laughs) impacts the rest of your exam, which is heartbreaking. It's really, really heartbreaking. And what happens there is that you've lost control. You went into the exam and you were like, okay, I can do this. I can do this. I don't know if I can do this, but I have to do this. I have to do this. And that sense of control, you know, that sense of, I've got this, I've got this. It's so brittle and so fragile that the first time I flick you, you just fall apart. You know, it's like, it's like carrying around a really, really, really fragile, like glass ornament, right? And you're carrying it around. You're like, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. And then someone comes along and flicks it and that's it. It all breaks and you can't, you can't pull it back again. Right? So what you've done is you've lost control. I don't want you to lose control because when you lose control, you can't think, okay? We will lose more of our marks to panic than we will because we don't actually know the section. We don't know the theory. uh, We've forgotten stuff, whatever. We will lose more marks to panic than we will to theory. And we know this because we've discussed this repeatedly how many times in the past you've looked at solutions after the exam and gone, yeah, I could have done that. I could have done that. I could have done that. Why did I do that? Oh, it was so easy what they wanted. When you lose control, I want you to think about panic as a filter, okay? It's like a wall. So you've got your exam and you, you have to think, you know that. Like you've got, and you've got you standing here, here's me, not so happy. It's my exam. And the moment that panic happens, it throws up a wall between you and your exam. And now all of your mental energy is just focused on trying to break through that wall, which means you're not even thinking about the exam because you're like, I'm trying to get over this panic. If you imagine that your mental energy, you go into the exam with like 100% mental energy, which is severely unlikely because you're under a lot of stress as it is. You know, we kind of want to say, oh, well, that is a terrible pie chart. It's the, mm. We kind of want to say we'd like 80% of your mental energy to be thinking about the exam. And it's inevitable that like 20% or so will be emotions, thinking behind the scenes. Why didn't I study this more? Oh, I didn't do this. Da, da, da. What's happening? What's the time? Da, 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 da. What is everybody else doing? You know, that, okay, fine. But if we're saying 80% of your mental energy is being spent on thinking about the exam, that's good. That's fine. But the moment we start panicking, this drops. And the emotion you know, is now sitting at like 50% of your mental energy is now being spent on the panic. And only 50% is being spent on actual thinking, right? So when we just look at this pie chart, right? This is not about motivation, warm, fuzzy, because students switch off the moment I'm not speaking about financial accounting, guys. But this is logical. You only have so much mental energy every hour, every minute, every second. And what we choose to do with that mental energy is important. If you're only spending half of your mental energy actually thinking about the question because half of your brain is spent panicking, worrying, then it doesn't matter how much you know because you're only able to use half of this, right? If we're able to take control back, if we're able to come back from that and go, well, question one sucked. Question one was crap, but 
I'm taking my control back. Then with exactly the same amount of theory, with exactly the same amount of knowledge, with exactly the same amount of practice experience and everything, you will do better, which is fantastic. This is really, really great. 